Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful, beautiful roughly flower. It's a very quick, very easy, and has so many uses. I mean, if you're a beginner, as long as you know how to do the basic stitches, such as double and single, you got this down. It's very easy to make. You can make it bigger than mine as well if you want, just by making a longer chain. And I'll give you the multiple, so if you want to make your chain as long as you want, it'll make it bigger than mine. So like if you made your chain double the size of mine, it's gonna, you're probably going to have a, si a flower twice the size as mine. Now this will be, this flower would be great for sewing on so many things. You could sew it on afghans, bags, blankets. You could put a magnet on it, use it for a refrigerator magnet. Uh, put it as, use a, put a pin on it and use it as a brooch. Um, so many things. Make it smaller, use it for earrings. It's just multiple use a uh, little flower applique, you know, anything that really that you can think of. I think it's very, very beautiful, actually. And it's very easy to make. Let me give you a little measurement of how big, big mine is, in case you want to know. Mine's not extremely large, but you can make yours bigger if you want. So mine measures approximately, I'm going to guess three inches across. Oh, right at, well, if you go straight across, around, it's about four but yeah about three and a half but get that it's just very easy chains and it makes it look so roughly and so beautiful i love it great scrap yarn project i mean if you have lots of scrap yarn these little flowers work great like i said put pins put a safety pin on the back and um, hand them out to people uh, that would really make their day that'd make someone smile that's actually a good idea i might do that use some scrap yarn and put some little safety pins on and you can just hand them out to people and people can wear them. I think that would make a lot of people smile. I do. It's a beautiful flower. So let's go ahead and get started on this, okay? Okay, for this project, I just used some scrap yarn that I had. This is actually Malabrego Rios. Um, it's a 100% uh, Merino uh, four-weight yarn. You don't have to use this yarn. Any four-weight yarn will work. Any scrap yarn, it takes very, very little yarn. 20 yards probably at the most probably not even that probably like 10 maybe but just barely any yardage it takes unless of course you want to make it bigger you know it's going to take just a bit more but but barely any like i said and think of how many colors you have how much if you got any little balls of yarn you can just make so many make make a beautiful blanket make something very beautiful with it but that's just the yarn i used but any four way it doesn't have to be wool acrylic cotton uh polyamide uh anything polyester anything for weight wool it, it'll all work and then i'm going to be using a size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook all right so you can do this as big as you want the chain amount just needs to be in an odd number of stitches so if you want to follow along with me <clears throat> i chained 49 stitches so what we're going to do now is we're going to put a double crochet in the fifth stitch from our hook so we don't count this one on our hook so we count over one two three four five and in that fifth stitch we put a double crochet so let's look and see what we have now so this chain here on the end counts as a double crochet and a chain one space and then we have a double crochet here now we're going to start the repeat of the row and we're going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. Then we're going to chain one, skip one, and double into the next. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, skip one double into the next and this is a pattern we're going to repeat for the length of the chain chain one skip one double into the next so i'm going to continue this chain one skip one double into the next until i get to the end of the row All right, so I've made it to the end and you should have ended with an even repeat with a double crochet there in your last stitch. And you should have, 20, if you follow along, 23 of these chain spaces. And that is counting this guy here at the end. 
he counts as a chain space. All right, so what we're going to do now for row two is we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now we are going to go, we're going to be working into this chain one space, okay? We're going to single crochet into it. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet into it again. Like that. Chain three. Okay? And single crochet into it one more time. So in the chain space was single, chain three, single, chain three, single. And that's what we're going to do in every one of these chain one spaces. So we're going to jump to the next one and we're going to do a single chain three. Single, chain three and single. Now it's going to get wavy. It's going to look crowded. It's going to be all bumpy and weird looking and that's fine because if it didn't look like that then it wouldn't be right. So we're going to jump to the next chain space right here. Go right into the space and you single chain three. Go back into the same space. Single chain three. Back into the same space again and single just like that jump to the next one single chain three single chain three and single all into that same space so I'm going to continue this all the way around and remember the more you do the wavier and the funkier looking it's going to get but that's okay because that's how it's supposed to look okay so you're not doing anything wrong if it's looking like that so every chain one space gets a single chain three single chain three single move to the next one single chain three single chain three single move to the next one all the way until you get here to the end okay i'll meet back up with you at this last chain space all right, so you can see how mine's looking all bumpy and wavy and just a big mess. But we're going to make it beautiful here in just a second. So here I am at my last chain space. So I'm going to go into the chain space here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, maybe, chain three and I'm going this time instead of putting my last single, single crochet into the chain space I'm going to put it in the third chain here from the bottom so one two three of the stitch not in not in the space but the third chain there we go just like that I'm gonna tie off and I'm gonna tie off leaving a long tail for sewing so go ahead and cut that off and there we go now you're going to need a yarn needle and we'll go ahead and load up that tail here so what we're going to do now is we're going to put our piece out right and here's the back side of our work here i'm just going to begin to roll Make sure you leave your, yeah, that tail be down there. So just take it and kind of roll it up along the bottom here. It's going to be bumpy. It's going to be weird. It's okay. Like that. Diamond that pretty? Yes, it is. My, my. Now we're going to get it sewn together. So we're going to take our tail here. So you can see it's kind of at the top. I'm just going to run it through the bottom. So we can start sewing at the bottom there. There we go. All right. 
So kind of get it adjusted to where, kind of fiddle around with it to where it looks pretty good to you. As, as for the spacing in between the rows, that's a beautiful flower. It is. You can, you know, work with it, make it not rolled so tight, but kind of like that, you know. You just got to fiddle around with it. You get it to look how you want it to look to your likings. And then we're going to sew it together. I like it. So now I'm going to take my yarn needle. We'll sew this into later. And I'm going to go around the bottom and I'm just going to start sewing it like this. The best way to sew it together is to go along the bottom. Go through like this and back out the other side. do this for quite a quite a bit till it's not going to come undone leave it crossed I'm, I'm leaving this side hanging because I'm going to sew it in at the end there. Now you can look at it and you see if it's loose anywhere. It is going to be loose here because I'm going to use this tail here to sew or you can use the tail that you have also as well. I guess I can go right on over there and attach that while I'm at it there. There we go now it's kind of attached. Fiddle with it some more. Work with it. Okay. And that's it. You just keep sewing the back up until you feel like it's not going to come undone. It shouldn't come undone, though, after you sew it up a few times. It's mainly just, you know, messing around within it and getting it adjusted to your likings. But it's a very beautiful flower. And since you're sewing it back and forth so much, this is going to count for hiding your tail, too. So you can just clip it off whenever you... Okay, that's good enough for me on that one. I'm gonna clip that off and now I'm gonna take this other tail here that I have at the end. Now I'm gonna I took this I'm gonna take this tail here that I have on the end and kind of sew it in as well. Oh that's pretty. I like that. Get it all sewed on to where it's not gonna come undone. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, what you can do with this is so many things, as I mentioned in the beginning. So pretty. There it is. She is finished, and she is a very pretty flower. What do you guys think? I like it. I think it's pretty. Well, what a quick and easy tutorial, huh? For something so beautiful. Yes. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit, a like, hit this like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Tell me that wasn't easy. That's beautiful. Beautiful. And I'll, uh, don't forget to check out all my hundreds of tutorials. I have everything that you could ever want to make and multiples of them. So I'll see you guys on my next video, okay? Hit that notification button too so you don't miss out. Bye everybody. Stay safe.